So now you've got a set of search results. You know what you're looking for when you look through the list, and you know that you can go back to your original keyword list and make any changes that you need to make based on what you saw. We're now gonna move on to two strategies that you can use to work with your results list. The first strategy is how to get more results, how to expand your search if you didn't get quite enough. And the second strategy is how to narrow down your results list and make the results a little bit more relevant. So in this video, we're going to focus on expanding or getting more search results. And the way we're gonna do that is with two techniques. The first one is by using the words and and or in your search boxes. And the second technique is called truncation or wildcard searching. The first technique that you're going to be using is to use the word and. And this is a connecting word that we can use in the database for our searches. Our three main concepts were violent, video games, and aggressive behavior. And when we go ahead and put these into the database, what we want to say uh, is that we need all three of these words. So what we need is for violent to be in the results we get, and we also need video games to be, to be present, and we also need the phrase aggressive behavior to be present. If we didn't say that we wanted all three of these, um, then it, basically we would, get, we would get everything that said violent, even if it had nothing to do with video games or aggressive behavior. So we'd get stuff about violent crime in Vancouver, which is not relevant to us. Um, we would get everything about video games, even if it had nothing to do with violence and aggressive behavior and so forth. So using the, the words and to connect them tells the database you need all three of these to be present in your results for them to be considered relevant. So that's the first strategy that we're going to use is we're going to use the word and. Pairing, pairing with the word and is the word or. Now the word or is where where we can use all of those different options that we gave ourselves in the last step. So remember how we said that some synonyms for violent could be brutal or cruel, harmful, assault and crime. What we have the option to do is to use the word or to tell the system that we're happy with any of these words coming back. So I'm just gonna move these ones out of the way so we can see. So what we can do is set it up so that we say violent is an okay word, or brutal, or cruel, or harmful, or any of these. So you can do as many as you want in a row. I'm just gonna keep these ones for now, just for the interest of space. Okay, so if we say that we are okay with violent, or brutal, or cruel, or assault, that gives the database more options. So we definitely want at least one of these words, and we want at least one of these words, video games, or computer games, or digital games, or fighting games. These were some different examples that we came up with. So we said, or, or, and again, or. So now what we're saying is any of these words are okay, and we also have to have any of these words, video games or computer games or digital games or fighting games. And then our third concept, so we want at least one of these and at least one of these and at least one of these. So aggressive behavior, or aggression, or hostility. Let's just go with that. So we'll say that any of these ones are okay. All right, so what this does is this expands out our search results. So if we had just done a basic search and we had just done violent video games and aggressive behavior, we would have gotten a certain amount of search results. But as soon as we start using these connector words, 
we're going to have lots more options. So this is the first strategy or the first technique that you can use to expand out your search and get more results is by giving the database more options for each of your terms using the connecting words or. And we're going to go into the database in a screencast next so that you can actually see how this looks um, on the computer. So that's the first technique. And that's just called using and and or searching. So we'll come back to this, I promise.